Hey guys, I quickly wanted to do a follow-up video on the transfer beer video. Um, just some things to add on, some comments. Um, one comment, people wanted to see the transfer with packed Sammy um, in the hoses. So these hoses are packed with Sammy, so we'll show you that. And also the pump um, operation. So we'll show you that and do a quick little add-on video of that transfer beer. Cheers. All right, guys. First thing that we're going to change here is um, if you look at our umbilical cord or balance line before hooking it up to the other tank, we're going to open it up and purge it with some CO2. Just flushing a little CO2 through there. That way you know the oxygen's out of this uh, balance line before you hook it up. So just a minor change to think about. Alright guys, if you haven't checked out the video on transferring beer, the part one of it, you might be confused about where all these hoses go, but the only difference is this catch contraption at the bottom of our bright tank. This allows the sandy or water to get flushed down the drain through this side until it, the sight glass runs clear beer and then we'll open up our bright tank to catch that beer. So to start it off, we flush our balance line or umbilical cord with CO2. Now we'll open our head pressure of our FV. Now both these tanks are under the exact same pressure. We'll then open our racking arm of our FV Opening all the pump valves, suction side, discharge side, and working over to this catch contraption. Now for this catch, we'll just be looking for the, the water to turn to beer and then stop sending it down the drain and send it into the bright tank. Watching this line. Starts changing, give it a second, and then go ahead and catch that into the bright tank. Now there's a couple chunkies. Now we'll let this whole system balance out. You can always check with, with a flashlight. The best way to look through sight glasses with, with a flashlight is putting the light on the back side of the sight glass instead of on the front like that and then you can see how that liquid moves. Once that liquid stops moving and the system's balanced out then we'll turn on the pump. But that's how to get um, this pitch and catch contraption going. Alright now that the beer stopped moving through the lines and is balanced we're going to want to turn on the pump. So on these variable frequency drive pumps there's usually a dial or up and down buttons that will change the hertz and the actual RPMs of the impeller. So I like to set this pretty low to begin with. You don't want to start it on the very lowest, it's bad on the motor. We usually transfer around 750 and 800. So once we have it set to where we like, we'll turn on the pump by the on button. And you can hear it's really slow, really quiet. Um, after you turn on the pump, it's a good idea just to check the sight glass again, just to see how the beer is moving through it. Looks like it's moving nice and slow, no breakout of bubbles. And that pump you'll leave on um, the whole transfer. Remember, you're going to want to turn that racking arm during this transfer, like I showed in the last video. But hopefully, these add-ons gave you a couple more things to think about when transferring a beer. Cheers.